Hello, 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 it's Wardy Zoo here, and we're back again with Garbage Pail Kids, day two. So yeah, I've been on this game now for just over a day, about 30 hours. I've been playing three to play and sort of getting a feel for it. I'm seeing what the game is willing to give me and how user-friendly it's going to be. And so far it is, it is thumbs up. As you said, I've just got to level 15 and made this video, so I've just this second opened Arena. Um, which you need to be level 15 for, which we'll go into in a minute. I've also up, um, uploaded the, uh, sorry, unlocked the Calamity Club and these Dolt Fights. So I'll just walk through a couple of these one by one. So you start off in the game and you get your Nut Fights. Um, as you get a little bit better, you unlock the Dolt Fights. And what happens is these are two separate islands. Now in the Nut Fights, you can only use Nut Monsters. So if I clicked on the Nut Fight and go to Battle, these I have. These are all the units I have, all five units of what I've got I can use and there they are for my nut fights. Now if I was to go to adult fights and we battle, they're three different units and that's all I've got so far in these. So you can only use nuts and nuts, dolts and dolts. At the moment the dolts, um, they've only given me three monsters and I'm already on the second lot of islands. So I'm a little perplexed to why they've not given me a full set of five monsters you'd expect by maybe the end of level one for them to throw in another monster or from throw them somewhere so i'm a little disappointed that i can't really progress too much further on this dolt side at the minute because i'm not getting extra dolt um monsters so maybe that should be addressed um but then you open this calamity cub which you can use any of your monsters you see i've got my five here then my three in storage so I can use any of these. And in this, you can, oh, didn't mean to have it. You can <laughs> collect junk and piece the pieces and everything drops randomly. Um, it's just possible rewards. Here we go, like bits and bobs, little Jane. But what you do get is you get these like fire ticket things. Now you can redeem these tickets to get pieces of the monster. Now some of these monsters take 30 pieces, some 50 pieces, some 80 pieces. But either way, you get five at a time, so I've only been on this a day and I've already got 2,300 of these fire pieces. So they're definitely attainable. These monsters are definitely attainable and I will be getting a couple of these monsters over the next couple of days. So um, yeah, they're definitely, it's definitely worth doing. Um, as far as the characters go, um, yeah, I'm quite, I'll, I'll do an arena fight and I'll show you um, more complexity of the characters. But as you say, the moment I've got eight characters, I could have, it's only one day in, so you know, it's not bad. It, it, the progress is there. I'm, I can feel that a few more are going to come soon. Um, from what I can see, how you level them up is actually how you progress in the game. So once you're at level 12, you can you can level your monsters up to level 12, level 13, you can do 13, etc. Et so I'm level 15, so I actually get my monsters up to level 15 at the minute. So at the moment, we've got this. So you, what you do is you train them. And you see, I can take him up to level 15. I was 14, i done it 14, now 15, I do 15. So you can pop him to level 15. These XP boxes that you see, they're very easy to get hold of. Um, not an issue at all, so um, it's not hard to level up your monsters. The only problem you might have is you start running out of gold. Then you've just got to farm a little bit and get that gold back. So you just pop that in, just like that. The job is done and you have your monster leveled up. And again, like the junk, you've just got to find it. Junk leveling up is the same. Once you've got all six pieces in of junk inside into your boxes, you can then level up to the next level. All the junk disappears and you start with new junk, stronger junk on the next level. So at the moment, you've got junk there, which if you look at it, it gives you extra strength, four and force. And the same here. And then this gives you a little bit extra physical damage. So yeah, you can just it will just make you stronger in certain aspects. As and there's obviously an umbrellas and stuff like that, which makes you faster, which is what I'm looking for at the minute. But I'm sure I'll come across them. Yes. Anyway, that is the basic for what's going on now. I'm going to go into arena and show you an arena fight. Um, hopefully against all oh, these. These are um, too strong for me. <laughs> I've got. I I I done. I'm not going to be able to fight these. These are all like level 17, level 21 people. So I'm not going to be able to show you any of these. I've done one fight and it put me straight up to 12, obviously, because nobody's. The game's only one day old, so no one's really started yet. So, um, yeah, I am not. I've kind of just kicked myself by. Yeah, well, I'm not going to be able to show you because it's going to be absolutely pointless because I'm just going to get wrecked. 
Oh, that's a pity. So what I'll do is I'll just show you a nuts fight because I can do it through this one. Um, we'll go to something easy like 3-1 and we'll battle. And yeah, I've got my team here so I can basically show you some of some of the just the basics of how the game how the game is running now. So this team I've got the basic is already has quite a bit of synergy in that together. So what you've got is my fastest one, New Wave Dave. He does a move here which can stun. So hopefully you're going to hit a move and stun the opponent. Fortunately I didn't stun either. Um, and then what I'll do on the next level once I've killed this guy. Is here if you see, right, what we've got uh, some basic moves is again um, my Roy Rot, he can taunt, so what he'll do is if I can stun a whole team, and if I've, once I've stunned a whole team, I can taunt the whole team. Um, so the, the moves are there for you to sort of get a nice nice team together, a nice bit of synergy going. And obviously, as you have a lot of the characters, I've got Boney Joni, who is a cleanser, so she can cleanse a team. So here, <coughs> excuse me, we'll be able to show that we'll go straight away. Hopefully we'll do, oh, they've cut in a little bit because I haven't got any speed on my Roy Bow. Oh, and now, as you see there, if you saw my Roy, he um, got blocked because this uh, spider on the bottom right will block all your moves your special attacks and you'll only be able to do your basic attack so as you see the, the character already sort of getting some complexity to them so we'll taunt here so they will have to attack him so you can already see that that yeah it's quite interesting the way you know your characters are going to be able to build and you'll be able to synergize so you're going to be able to get your stun and then you're then you're attacking so hopefully that will work quite nicely. I mean, if you're if you're after awesome graphics and that, this isn't the sort of game it's going to be for you. But if you like that that nostalgia and you enjoy you enjoy just chilling and having a bit of fun, I mean, yeah, I definitely give this game a thumbs up for that. I'm going to continue playing it for the next few days and we'll see. You know, what sort oh boy! Of it's got whether it's a very quick burnout or whether you that you can get to unlock characters at a good pace and a good rate to make you keep wanting to play the game, keep wanting to skill them and level them up, keep wanting to learn their moves. Which I'm hoping is going to be the way. But so far they took a long time sort of putting this game together. They were originally going to bring it out back in October last year, I think, and they finally brought it out now because they've gone back to the creators, they've gone to certain members of the public and gamers to sort of make their feedback on it and they've you know, try and try and try the hardest to make it a game that can actually have some sort of sustainability. So what I'll do is I'm going to play again for a couple of days and keep going and I'm going to see where the free to play takes me, whether the, I can keep unlocking the characters and see how the arena goes. I mean it's such early days in one day, there's obviously not much competition yet because nobody's really on the game yet. But we want to change that, we want to get more people on the game, so people download it, have some fun on it. Just take it with a pinch of salt. Anyway, I'll be back in a day or two and we'll do another video and hopefully I'll be in the arena and done a bit more in there and unlock some more characters and we can see what's going on. Until then, Woody out.